Hey everyone, um, this is uh, part two of uh, my Roberts 770X reel-to-reel uh, -reel tape recorder, which is also uh, an Akai M8. So if you're working on these, if you're thinking about buying one, um, I'm just trying to tip you guys out, give you a little bit of information of what I've found. So um, if you watched uh, my first video, I talked a little bit about what it takes to change the electrolytic capacitors out on them uh, and um, this one uh, this video I want to talk about uh, how you can use these preamps as a as a guitar amplifier so and you really don't have to do any modifications to it it's pretty simple and um, the one thing that uh, kind of have to understand is, is how these uh, these preamps work as far as uh, the, the play and the record mode you can see the slide on top, there's one on each. Uh, the, the other one's a little different, but it's basically the same thing. This is a, a spring-loaded switch, and in one position, it's in the play mode, um, and in the other position is the record mode. But when it's in play mode, the these two top inputs uh, are activated, and this is basically a, like a phono. Uh, I've got a, an MP3 uh, cell phone running into it, so but, uh, I guess you know back in the day it was uh, for record players, and the uh, the bottom is a uh, I believe it's for like a preamplifier uh, section. So, but uh, and then in the play mode, obviously you have a volume control, and this is a, a two-way. Uh, pod. It's got a switch for the uh, for the tape speed, and then a potentiometer for the tone. So, and this tone potentiometer is is basically out of the circuit when it's in record mode. So it, it's only active when when in the play mode. Um, so, but um, and right now, again, I've got this spring unhooked because if you don't, it, it'll snap back. And turn it back into uh, into the play mode. Um, so right now, you can also hear the <laughs> interference from my cell phone. But this is MP3 running into the uh, the input. the tone and so and when I took this apart and I uh, was cleaning it up uh, you know use some deoxid uh, you can access the potentiometers from the bottom of the uh, of these preamplifiers and clean them out because they were scratchy and and um, now they're they're working really well for again for something that's 50 years old, so. And then again, I, I've got, I'm, I'm using this uh, little eight inch orange guitar amp, uh, speaker cabinet, uh, and it's running into the, uh, to the external speaker jack here. Uh, there is also, when you're using this as a, reel to reel um and if you're using the two internal speakers this is you know for the uh for the right side for the right speaker um but using it as a i guess as a guitar amplifier you could probably rewire that and use that or it's easier just to run it through the external speaker jack so but that's the play mode and again you can hear this is, a, this is in play and then It's in record uh, now that switch and again if you don't unhook that spring it's just going to snap back into the play mode so and then i've got a an xlr or a, a guitar cable quarter inch guitar cable that you can hear it's active so and then again when it's in the record mode the tone is is bypassed so it really just has no effect on on that section of, of the amplifier, so um, pretty simple. Uh, I'm gonna put this on pause, and then I will uh, I'll play a little bit of guitar through it, so you can kind of hear 
the differences of, of, of what the volume does with it and uh, has a lot of gain to it for, for such a simple little amplifier. So, uh, but here we go. Okay. Um, so again, I've got guitar running into the mic input. Um, again, it's in the uh, chord mode, which is to the left. That's in play mode. So record. one or two very low um, and again the the tone the pot potentiometer is basically it, it's out of the circuit so it doesn't doesn't have any effect on on the tone um, so you're basically hearing just just the tube amp with with no tone modification to it So there you go, um, pretty simple. Sorry about the guitar playing, but I'm trying to record and do everything at the same time. So, but anyways, uh, pretty simple. And uh, it, I think if you used it with a, like a EQ pedal or something, uh, you could really, and a, and a better speaker cabinet. So uh, you get a pretty nice sounding uh, guitar amplifier out of that. Once I get everything put back together and working, uh, I'm gonna definitely try to, you know, use it for recording purposes, uh, either direct or, or different things like that. So, um, but hopefully this helps you guys out. Again, if you've got any questions, um, just leave me a comment or, and I'll see if I can uh, answer, answer them for you. So, but uh, thanks again and take it easy, bye.